All right, everyone. Let's talk about um, if you have slow internet and what to do, and um, who to blame. If you're it's your roommates for Netflixing, if your router just needs to be reset, or your service is down in your area. So what you'll do is, uh, if your internet works, you'll go to speedtest.net. This is the website you will use to test your internet. Before we test it, you need to know what you're testing, what you have, essentially. My provider is uh, Cox Cable, and that's what who is the provider in my area. This is their website. They have uh, several speeds listed, quite pricey if you ask me to get the fastest one. But anyways, I do fine with the essential. I get by with this. I do a little bit of everything with it. Um, what you really care about is what your upload speed is. If you do things like uh, gaming and or uploading to servers, to perhaps even video chat. But anyways, so they sell it to you in these numbers, 5, 25, 50, 150, Mbps. So what the heck is that? So we should break that down and see what the heck are we paying for and how fast it should be and what kind of service we should be expecting. So if we're talking about, um, let's just talk about the one that I have, which is uh, 5 megabits per second. So that translates to the big M stands for million. Ah, darn. So Mbps. Let's not forget the B. Five million bits per second. Now I think this is a marketing scheme. Not really quite sure since I'm not in the tech industry, but uh, bits is a smaller uh, unit, and it makes uh, numbers appear much bigger. And I feel like that's just to fool the consumer. But to break that down, um, what we have here is one bit, actually eight bits equal one byte. And byte is what we're more commonly used to for downloading um, file sizes and such with kilobyte, megabyte, gigabytes. That might ring a bell. And so to find out how much is uh, 5 million bits per second, we'll convert that to bytes per second so we understand. And we'll know that we'll have to take 5 uh, million and divide it by 8. And we'll have our bytes per second. So I'll take a calculator out here. And we'll have 5... 50, 500, 5 million divided by 8, we get 625,000. 625,000 bytes. It's still kind of a large number to, to kind of uh, grasp and understand how much data that really is. So I'll break that down into kilobytes. Um, that's, for those that are from the 90s, you, we all know our download rate was all about the uh, five kilobytes per second and now we're yeah we're enjoying cable moving on so kilo for those that don't know any Greek uh, means a thousand so one kilobyte needless to say equals one thousand bytes so to find out how much six hundred and twenty five bytes are in kilobytes we divide that puppy by a thousand and that equals 625 kilobytes still it's still kind of a big number and it's kind of hard to under to grasp how much that is so we're going to go ahead and convert that down to megabytes now megabytes Yeah, if you guys don't know, mega is uh, a million, so it's 10 to the 6. 6 in the other direction, so let's see, megabyte is 1,000 kilobytes. So so you know 1,000 times 1,000 will equal 1 million. Okay. So anyway, so we take our 625 and we 
we divide that by a thousand and we end up getting 0 0.625 megabytes. Alright, so now we're talking about something we see day to day. Megabytes are much more familiar. So when we see 6.25 megabytes, that's a about two thirds of a megabyte. Um, so that's how much data we're getting in the length of time. Well, we need our units, and our units are per second. So in one second, our internet would have downloaded one two thirds of a megabyte. So that leaves us to that in about in less than two seconds, you would have downloaded one megabyte of data alright so that kinda of gives you an idea of your speed enough going on that tangent let's go back to our our speed test and see what we get so we'll begin the test and um, ping here this is also something important you want this to be under 50 usually and that's usually like response time. It's important for those that are uh, big gamers. You want to avoid that lag time. So here's my download speeds coming at 5.5 basically. So I'm getting higher than what I'm paying for. So not complaining there. And it looks like upload speed is upward of the one megabyte there. So one megabit per second. So no complaints there. So yeah, no problems with my internet. Check yours and post your results below and let me know if you have any questions.